Hey guys, Vinky here. Welcome back to another episode of my channel. Today I'm going to show you how spammers harvest private email IDs from internet. In this video, I just collected nearly 51,000 private email IDs using Google Dorking, which is nothing but uh, open source intelligence. This video is purely for educational purpose. In some countries, harvesting email IDs and using it for spamming purpose is illegal. So guys, please follow this video only for educational purpose and do not take any risk. Now let's get into the action. I'm going to use uh, Google Dorking, which means uh, Google search engine is going to help us uh, to do advanced search. What I'm doing here now, I'm instructing Google search engine to do advanced search based on the application log file, which contains a string of at gmail.com or at yahoo.com. Basically, it will return all the web pages which is exposing their application log files. Application log files will contain multiple error information. For example, if the application trying to send an email to some person and it fails, it will capture the error message and the email address. Those log files are going to be our target so that we can harvest plenty of email address. What we are seeing here is one website which is exposing log file and log file contains plenty of email address. Likewise, we have plenty of websites which is exposing their uh, log file into the internet. To harvest these email IDs from the web pages, we can use a Chrome extension called Email Extractor. We can download this extension from the Chrome store which is completely free to use as I installed it already. We can see the plugin on the right hand side. Uh, whenever you browse any web pages, if a email ID is available on the web page, it will display the count. So you can easily extract that email address using this Chrome extension. This extension just matches the string pattern which looks like an email ID and it will help us to extract it. You can extract that and download in a file format like text files or CSV file. As we see already, this extension identified the email address from the web page and it is showing the count as 265. I am just trying to download this in a text file format and saving that file into a folder. Likewise, we can navigate to uh, other search results from the Google. It will open the log files. So we can use this Chrome tool and download all the email IDs in a text file format. It is very simple. What uh, we are doing is just using Google search engine and browsing through all the log files which are exposed to the internet and trying to extract email ID from the log files. And don't worry guys, I will uh, place all these Google Dorking search queries in the video description. The key learning point here is whenever we are developing an application, we should not log any personal information or critical information in the log file. Otherwise, hackers or anyone who have access to the log file can view those critical information easily. Also, whenever you are putting a robot.txt file for your web application, make sure all these log files are removed, which means you can use disallow command in the robot.txt file. If you want to learn more about this robot.txt file, watch this video. Basically, this robot.txt file will help a search engine to do not display these sensitive files in the internet. As we see, I already uh, downloaded nearly 10 files which contains plenty of email address. And these are all from the one page of the search result. Likewise, Google will return number of uh, search results. We can navigate through those search results and we can harvest plenty of email address from internet. Just for this example, I'm going to limit harvesting email IDs from 23 search results. Uh, then I'm going to use a different Google Dorking query. The new Google Dorking query also will help us to harvest plenty of email address from internet. New Google Dorking query is very simple. Instead of using file type as log, just use file type as SQL. So that Google will return result of all the SQL file which is available. Generally, developers will be using .sql file to take a backup of database. 
this sql file going to be our next target because database will hold plenty of email address as we see google already returned plenty of sql files which means number of websites which is exposing their sql file to the internet again these are all developers mistake generally this sql file should be kept in a secured place look at this we are able to see sql file which contains user information and email address we are using same chrome extension to extract these email ids so again just for this example i am limiting to harvest email ids from uh, top search results so that we can move on to next google dark inquiry next google dark inquiry is also very simple i am going to use social networking websites to harvest email ids so in this example i am instructing google to search email address from linkedin whoever having name like john and we can see google already written plenty of email address we can harvest that using uh, same email extractor uh, chrome extension by default google will return only 10 results so we can um, change this setting uh, go to search settings and then um, make that uh, search return result to 100 so that whenever you search from google it will return 100 results per page then we can navigate to next pages and move on so every page will have at least 100 search result in this way at least we can harvest minimum of 100 email ids per page in the search result similarly we can instruct google to harvest yahoo.com mail ids or hotmail.com mail ids from linkedin pages in the same way just to replace linkedin with facebook or any other social networking website uh, to harvest mail ids see here we are already harvesting plenty of email ids uh, who are all having name like john in the same way you can change it to a different uh, domain names and different names that will return plenty of uh, email address now let's move on to the next google dark inquiry what i'm going to do is i'm instructing google to search for curriculum vitae uh, which is holding email address in it we can see google already returned plenty of web pages which is holding curriculum vitae and we are going to harvest email address from the search result in the same google dark inquiry we can add a specific keyword to target a specific audience like uh, real estate people uh, or we can look for brokers or we can look for cyber security specialist or it analyst so all these keywords will help us to return email address belongs to them this is how generally spam as harvest email id for a targeted audience so guys please think twice before publicizing your email address or ex exposing your email address to any of the website so the best practice is use different email ids for different purposes for example for financial reason use a different email id for educational purpose use different email ids and so on so for using these google dark inquiries i harvested nearly 44 email files i am just opening those harvested email files one after another um, just to validate whether we got email address properly or not perfect we got all the email address so now let's try to merge all these files into a single file i'm going to execute a command from command prompt basically going to merge all these text document into a single uh, text document syntax is very simple just use copy command and then slash b stands for binary content and then mention all text file then output into a single file this command will merge all the file into a single file now let's try to open the output file named as all emails.txt which will hold a complete email address i am trying to open this in a notepad document so that we can see how many private email ids we harvested so far we could see it's starting from record one and then going down who we can see the harvested email ID is count going beyond 50,000 to be 
exact it is 51104 private email ids so we just harvested these much email ids less than five minutes of time and these are all just harvested from top search result from google and imagine how much a spammer can extract from the complete search results let's move on to the second example where i'm going to use the harvester tool uh, you can get this downloaded in Kali linux machine use the command apt get install the harvester which is free and can be installed this tool also will be used by spammers or hackers and this tool will help us to harvest email ids based on the domain name for example if we want to harvest gmail.com based email ids we can use this tool the syntax is very simple just type the harvester and then mention iphone d as the domain i mentioned gmail.com which means i'm going to harvest email ids based on gmail.com and provide iphone b as google that's nothing but the search engine so this tool will use google search engine and uh, try to harvest gmail.com based email ids uh, we could see it's already started to uh, target gmail.com searching for nearly 500 results that's by default you can keep increasing it and uh, here we go it started um, harvesting email ids all email ids from the domain gmail.com these are all the very basic ways to harvest email from the internet we are not attacking or we are not hacking any server simply whatever information available in the internet we are trying to harvest from there and i am repeating guys this video is only for educational purpose hope this helps please um, like share and comment my video and do not forget to subscribe my channel see you again in the next video thank you